Hi, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. It is discovery time. Land Rover Discovery TD5, this one is. Now, I've had a few before. I had a Discovery 200. And I, some time ago, and I decided to jack it up a couple of inches and then put big 110 tyres on it. And we're all in the motor. Every time I come to roundabout, it was, God, hang on for dear life. So that's 300 and do that. The last TD5 I had was an automatic. The engine was beautiful, but I realized very quickly, I only had three speed gearbox for some particular reason. It was doing 12, 30 miles to the gallon. And that was years ago, not happy. This little baby here. Now, <laughs> discoveries, they have all the usual problems and this does have them as well. Not even where you buying these from, don't, don't do what I did. You know, you trust a little scrope, lives in Bury St. Edmunds, Ipswich Way, you know, David Cook, Cook. <laughs> um, it had mud everywhere all over it, you know, and I thought it was hiding lots of dents and scratches. Looked under the front, water leak. The traditional oil leak, I mean, it's gonna have one of them no matter how hard you buy and look. Um, nice two and a half litre engine, gearbox was good as well. Transferred to low to high, I thought it was not bad. Quick look round it now. This is a 2001 model. As I said, it's got a standard oil leak. <coughs> I think you can see from the dripping bit there. I mean, one good thing though, it doesn't rust. Also had a water leak coming down here as well. I have stopped the water leak. Dish looked disgusting, but hey, I'm gonna do all underneath here. Wax on it all. And there's your lovely oil leak. What I didn't realize when I was doing this though, unfortunately, was when I cleaned all the side, I didn't actually do under here. And then what it very quickly did was all come back out which this is why it's in the state it is now, which is unfortunately pretty filthy. However, all in, you know, it's not a bad little motor. I say little, big. Let's have a look under the bonnet and let's see what we're gonna be doing to this motor. As we lift this massive bonnet, water. We're gonna be doing that, draining it all out. It did leak, but it's not too bad now. Round this side is your two oil filters. Now remember, you have two oil filters in here, not just one. Centrifugal one in there, I'll show you in a second, and one further down here. Both, a little bit different to get to. Once you're there, it's easy. Let me show you. Right in there, get this out first, is a centrifugal one, which is just there. Two 10 mil bolts, and that comes off. It's a little round one, we'll show you later when I do the service video. And another one right in there, a bit hard to get to. You can get screwed up and tap it around if it's too tight, but generally it's easy to do. Air filter, nice and easy, we're gonna do that one as well, it comes in a kit. Something that gets forgot an awful lot, the diesel filter. It's a must, and I'm gonna show you where it is. Strangely, on the rear wheel, here, right in there. Weird but very, very easy to do. A little messy, when you undo it, you're gonna need a, a tray at the bottom. It does pour out diesel, but again, it's easy. Now, I'm gonna be doing that in the next couple of videos. We're gonna clean this all up, make it look nice. Then I'm gonna do a full service on this one, which you're gonna see me do, oil. <laughs> I am putting a little bit of oil in it, and it is chucking oil out. So, to do a complete oil change of six litres, as I'm probably losing, the, you know, a cut of mill here and there. It always seems funny to me, but I've got to stop it. Sump, the um, round the actual oil filter, I found a bit of oil there, I've got to find it. Could be even a split breather pipe, air pipe, oil pipe, transfer, I don't know, but the boxes are good. Quick look inside. Oddly enough, actually getting in these, if you ever had one, is not the easiest. It's quite tight, to be honest with you, although a big motor. You do have all your controls, heel descent, jack up, Petrol, that's your petrol cap, you've got to press that to release. Nice heated back and front screens, your lock, you can get your little bits and bobs in here. Good little stereo in these, I must say. Now the dash. Let's give it a kick start. A lot of Christmas trees these are. Let's get that off, shall we? Now you may notice the dash does not have the three amigos. Three amigos come on, traction control, ABS, and there's one other and I can't think, he'll descend, that's it. They come on, they can really, really mess around your motor. Generally, there's not videos out there how to get rid of that, but it's uh, valves and stuff like that and little switches, but a bit annoying. This one has not got it, which is lovely. 
I've got new gates to go on. You can see they're messing around there. This one and that one did come with them actually. Not bad though. Headlining, yeah, it's a little bit, isn't it? You know, they don't leak, which is nice. Seats are nice and comfortable, I have to say. Not leather. Now, before I open this door here, you're going to see a little bit of silicon here. This was another little, uh, nice little gift I got from the last owner. Didn't tell me, drive along, it felt like just gushing wind. You can't get hold of these seals on a kit or second hand maybe, so I had to seal them both. Doesn't really bother me, because as you can see, it's got the mat here. And for those of you who might watch my other videos, yes, my dog gets in here and she is happy, which is really, really nice. We open the rear up, and these again, nice inside. This is a seven seat version, so it's got the better shocks. And these come up and come down, and it's got the headrest as well. Do you know what, it's nice, I had a fridge freezer in here the other day. So they are like minivans. Some roofs do not leak. Little step to get up the top as well, it's cute. A lot of people take this off road. Now, if you watch my last videos, I like jacking things up, I like putting lights everywhere. I'm not going to do it this one. It's, it's in good condition, to be honest with you. It's very tempting. Uh, had little covers on the front, I matched it with these ones. And they're quite nice, just little extras to have. So all in, not a bad little motor. Needs little bits doing to it, cleaning underneath. Next couple of videos coming up will be getting all the clean underneath and waxing it properly. You have a service video of this as well and they clean up and drive, you know, great stuff. A lot of people take these off-road more than the best of them because they are a lot of fun. Wider wheels, jacking up. There's a guy I've been watching Lee and uh, he's done all little bits. A bit rough, like the edges around me, I like to see it, you know. Rather than following things for the manuals, it's nice seeing people do other things. So, service coming up next. Thank you so much for watching. If you're wondering why it's not motorbikes, and I did say I'd explain what's wrong with me in my other videos, I have macular dystrophy in my right eye. Sorry to add it to this at the end anyway. I'm having a lot of problems with it. I don't just mean different colours because the vetina de degrades basically. Um, and it's not nice and numbers and stuff you can't see properly. That's what stopped me doing the peds. I can't tell if it's a Phillips, a star shape, or a hex. I can't tell what it is. So a little bugger. I'm all right driving. If I lose a sight in one eye, I think the Spartans say, God gave me one eye still, so I'm all right. So here we go. Oh, I do like the fact that when you take these off road, everybody says take these off. They just dig into the ground. So there you go. Nice, quick and simple. Thank you for watching me. Watch the next little set of this. Who knows what comes up next. Take care of yourselves on the road. Bye-bye.